Stanvik Holdings became the first lender to release its 2020 full-year financial results that highlighted Stanvik Holdings increase its loan loss provisions by 41.78% to 9.8 billion shillings after the stock of non-performing loans hit 25.04 billion shillings. Now the lender reported a 19% reduction in full-year net profit to 5.2 billion shillings and trimmed dividends by nearly half to three shillings and 80 cents. The second half of last year was characterized by financial institutions reporting a steep increase in non-performing loans blamed on the adverse impact of COVID-19 pandemic on businesses. Stanbic Holdings, which is the first lender to release its 2020 full-year financial results, shows that the problem could be pronounced in the banking industry. Stanbic says it issued loan moratoriums to 7,200 clients and restructured loans worth 40 billion shillings. As a result, the lender saw its stock of non-performing loans increase 29.42% to 25.04 billion shillings. Stanbic Holdings blames these on a COVID-19 battered economy, subdued interest rates, weakening of the local currency and increased regulations. We saw a lot of pressure in the economy. The shilling had the double whammy effect of, you know, effectively shutting down all the dollar revenues from tourism, horticulture. Um, and then having a huge pressure in terms of imports um, because we were going through COVID. As a result, and in line with the, the IFRS 9 preparation of financial statements, the lender increased its loan loss provision by 41.78% to 9.84 billion shillings. This ate into the lender's 2020 full year net profit that dipped 19% to 5.2 billion shillings. We then had to do what we call a restore, which is how do we continue to run the business in this environment and start to see how we can continue to service our clients and support our business. And then thirdly, the last piece was rebound. How do we see opportunities and what can we see from a growth perspective during this period? Interest income from loans and advances was down 8.6% to 14.37 billion shillings, which was lifted by a 10% increase in interest income from government securities. Total interest income dipped 3.4% to 19.7 billion shillings. Shareholders who pocketed 7 shillings and 5 cents per share last year will this year receive less after Stanwick Holdings directors proposed a final dividend payout of 3 shillings and 80 cents per share. Betty Kiptum, Channel 1 Business.